Hello everyone, this is your teacher, and today we have another guide video. And this video is going to be about the community plazas on different watches and how to use them, what's their ability, what's the passive and the buffs that they give you. So basically, uh, the community plaza is a function and a mechanic that is given to the Warchief Civs, which are the Aztec, Inca, Lakota, and Haudenosaunee. And with the community plaza, basically you will have the ability to buff your Civ if you use it properly. So it has different stats and different abilities. So basically you can have your units have increased attack, uh, attack damage. You can have the unit train time to train your units faster. You can have the ability to gather uh, XP per second, so you can get your cards faster. So all of these and much other abilities, which I will explain during the video, are the are all of them inside the community plaza. So. If you plan to use the watcher saves, you must know how to use the community plaza and how to cycle your community plaza. If not, uh, I would say it's basically useless to play that save because your main power uh, will come through your community plaza. So firstly, uh, we have, uh, I'm just gonna start with Aztec and then after that, I'll go through different uh, watcher saves. So, firstly, with Aztec, uh, okay, let me explain about the hotkeys first, and then after that, we'll jump into the community plaza itself. So, as you see, uh, when you select the villager, this one is the community plaza. So, when you press F, uh, if, you, if your hotkeys are... Uh, set on legacy you will be able to use this hotkey so when you press a villager and press f on your keyboard you can place and select your community plaza so what i suggest is uh it's always better to have your community plaza near your uh, town center uh, the reason for that is because you can send your valuable units as for, for example, for Aztec, is your Warrior Priest, which gives an uh, insane boost to your community plaza. Uh, let's say if the enemy attacks you, you can just send your unit to the town center and protect them. So make sure to do that and have that in mind. Uh, that's That was one tip, I would say, uh, regarding the community plaza placement, but that is different uh, if you're playing different saves, but mostly it's better to have it in a safe place. So, as you see, the community plaza, all of them, doesn't matter what, for all the civilizations, you can have 25 units working on it, or just, uh, I don't know how to say it properly, but I'm just going to use the uh, word of work because, uh, I mean, previously in the legacy game, it was dancing, but uh, they did some changes to that. So I guess dancing is not the ideal word uh, for the community plaza. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> so for example, for Aztec, uh, when you select the community plaza, you have all these uh, abilities, I would say. And then there is a big button, always. Uh, as for the Aztec, as you can see, it will increase your Warchief, uh, XP, Bounty, uh, Aura ability. So it means uh, when your Warchief is near your military unit and your military unit kills or destroy uh, enemy units, you will get higher XP. 
So that is regarding the big button upgrade of Aztec. And regarding the abilities themselves, so the first one is the, the Harvest Ceremony. They have changed their name as well compared to Legacy Game. But yeah, this one is the Harvest Ceremony. So the hotkey is F. And what this ability or this ceremony basically give you is it will increase your unit production. Uh, it's uh, okay. Actually, let me build the war hut as well so you can see. So this applies to uh, all the unit train time. So uh, I mean, as you see, even the units that you can train from warship, it's faster. Your villagers train faster. As you see, it's pretty fast. And also, I just want to show you, so you will be sure, your, <clears throat> sorry, your units are also training faster. Okay, so just keep that in mind, that uh, this will boost your uh, unit train time, this ability, or this ceremony. Uh, the next one is this one which is the X and it stands for the XP and it's called gift ceremony. So when you press on this, as you can see here, you can, uh, you can always see the stat that your community plaza is giving to you. So as you see, grants extra 11.97 experience point per second. As you see, my XP is just increasing super fast. So that is regarding the XP. <clears throat> and then the next one is uh, A. I set it to A. Uh, later I explain which one of these you will need the most. So you can set your hotkeys for them. So A is for your war chief. As you see, it will uh, boost your war chief uh, HP by 65%. As you see, there, my Warship XP is uh, 5,100 HP. And actually, this stat will be higher. I'll show you in a second. I just want to show you what each of these ability will give you. Okay, so just bear with me. And also, let's say, uh, well, at the moment, I can't kill my Warship. But let's say if your Warship is dead, uh, you can't uh, recall your warship from your town center, just like the European or Asian saves. So what you need to do is to use this ceremony. And then uh, once uh, you click on it, uh, it will be pretty quick. Your warship will just come out from the community plaza and walk out. So, wherever is your community plaza, your warship will come out from there. The next uh, ceremony is uh, people ceremony. So, basically, this one is like a millet man. As you see, uh, it will give you units that they will lose uh, HP per second. Uh, as you see, you can only train six of them. That's all. You can train more of them. As you see, I kill one and another one will come up. So this one is just a melee pan of the war chief says, I don't uh, suggest you to train them or use them at all because as you see, they are just completely useless. So what I suggest you all just complete this unit. Uh, I mean, just forget that this unit exists. Uh, this applies for actually all of the saves, uh, which I will explain to you later. The next one is the, <clears throat> the victory ceremony. I think in the legacy, it was war ceremony or something like that. Uh, and when you set it on this, all of your units will gain uh, attack damage, increase damage to units as you can see inside the stat tab, 
Okay, just to show you how it works. So as you see for now, my unit have 19 attack, and then when I change the community plaza, it will be on 16. And this applies for all of the units. It doesn't matter. It can be it's uh, it applies for villagers, war chief, pet, and whatever unit that you have. Doesn't matter. Okay, and that was I would say uh, straightforward. And the next one, which is this this one is unique to Aztec, is uh, the healer ceremony. But uh, well, uh, this one gives you the warrior priest, which you will see. Okay, actually, uh, the more units you put inside the community plaza, as you see, the train time will be reduced. Okay, just keep that in mind. As you see, you can just train them super fast. That's why I say these units are super important as for Aztec, the warrior priest. So that's why it's better to keep them in a safe place because else you have to spend some time during the battle to train these units and that will be bad because uh, you have to put your community plaza on this ceremony rather than having it on train time either uh, war uh, I keep forget the new name uh, war ceremony okay war ceremony okay so make sure to have these units protected near your town center and <clears throat> the next thing is you can only train 10 of these so as you see the train time is already over but uh, they won't come out anymore so only 10 of these units and that's all so just to show you how effective are these units so I'm just uh, I just cleared the community plaza. Okay, I'm just gonna put it on the train time dance. And with 10 of these, you will get 176% increased train time on your units. Okay? And let's say if I put 10 villagers, can you see how much is that? I mean, how effective are these units? With 10 villagers, you will have 85% only, while with these were 176, I guess. So make sure to uh, always use the warrior priest inside your community plaza uh, while you play on Aztec, because they are more effective and basically you can just use your villagers on resources as uh, Aztec doesn't have the best economy available. So what I do basically is just put my 10 warrior priests inside the community plaza and I don't use villagers at all. So as you see, I mean, the train time, even if I want to train villagers, it's like super fast. On war uh, ceremony, it's plus 25, uh, 21%. And uh, and the XP is 11.31, uh, which is almost the same as having 25 villagers on the community plaza. But uh, if you want to boost your units more and overall boost your community plaza, you can add 15 more villagers to your community plaza. So overall, as you see, it's maximum 25. And now, as you can see, uh, the XP is 23.03. I mean, the stats will be higher, but uh, you will do that by having extra villagers on the community plaza. And that means you will have less resources gathered per second. So it's either you choose to have uh, better stats and better unit stats overall or to have better economy so that's 
based on you and what you decide, but uh, what I suggest is to just use the Pen Warrior Priest for Aztec. Uh, for other save, that's different. But for Aztec, what I suggest is to use only 10 uh, Warrior Priest. And that's, I would say, enough. Because the stat that they give, it's uh, pretty good and pretty uh, OP. But again, if you want to have a higher stat, I mean, if you see your economy is at a good situation, you can just send your uh, 15 extra 15 villagers to the community plaza and boost the, uh, the stats that you will get. I mean, as you see, it's 38% now, and period, uh, without the villager, it was, uh, I think, 21%. And as for the train time, uh, it's uh, 323, as you see, it's like super fast. Okay, so make sure to have these uh, stats in mind. So, yeah, that is uh, all about it. And actually, wait, next thing. Uh, I mean, uh, this one is a special uh, ceremony to Aztec. So as you see, when I put on this one, this one is the healing ceremony. And sadly, I don't have any units that are low in HP. But uh, as you see inside the stats, heal your heal 7.9% of idle units. Uh, idle units health per second. So let's say if you're, I mean, uh, oh, actually this this will be good. So let's say, I mean, uh, these are the melee man, okay? So as you see, they will lose HP per second, okay? So what uh, you can do is just to do the healing ceremony. And as you see, they will just heal uh, instantly, but uh, in the legacy version, you could just abuse this ability to uh, revo uh, make your war chief alive, because what this ability would give in the legacy edition was, I mean, uh, let's say for example, if your uh, war chief was dead, like at this position, and then like for example, this was in the middle of the enemy base. Uh, and then you could just use this ability and then your war chief would uh, stand up with half HP. I mean, that was pretty broken and they've already changed that. So, uh, overall, I wouldn't suggest you guys to use this ability because uh, it's kind of useless. And I mean, in sub game, you can use it for sure because you, I mean, you can just kite back, wait for a while, heal your units, and then go inside the battle again. But in treaty, uh, usually you won't have that much time to just walk back and then let your units heal. So in treaty, I wouldn't suggest you to use this at all. And the next one is the school night ceremony, I guess. Uh, okay, they changed the name as well. It's called Land War Ceremony. So, what this one gives is uh, it takes 18 seconds if you have uh, 10 Warrior Priests to give you one School Knight. Uh, as you see, this unit have insane stats. Their stats are just insanely good. They have high siege damage, high attack, area damage high HP, and actually you can have more HP with them if you have the cards, which I don't have. So yeah, uh, you will get these units, and the other thing that I need to mention is uh, these units will gain stats based on the uh, based on the age that you are. Let's say, for example, if you're on age 3, their HP will be lower, their attack will be lower, 
and the max stat that you will get from these units is at Imperial Age. So just to have that in mind, uh, I mean, of course, they're insane units, but it will take uh, some time for them to train. And that means that you need to put your community applause on this ceremony rather than all other these good ceremonies. So I don't suggest to use these units uh, if you're playing in treaty, unless you want to uh, do some cheese strategy where you can just use uh, <clears throat> where you can use this uh, villagers. I mean, all of your villagers and your not all, sorry, uh, the extra 15 villagers and then uh, they will train uh, at half a time. So it's like nine seconds, uh, nine seconds per unit. And personally, I wouldn't suggest this, but that's up to you what you decide. And just in case you know, this, these are two unit puff. Uh, so make sure to have that in mind. So I think that is all about uh, Aztec. And actually, let me change this so they won't spawn more. Okay, so regarding the hotkeys that you will need for Aztec, uh, basically, you will need uh, this one. You need it all the time. Uh, this one, it's by default, is on X, and this one by default is on F. Uh, so, I mean, for me, I'm used to this, but if you want to change the hotkeys for them, just feel free to do that. Actually, let me just tell you which uh, hotkeys you need, so, and then after that, we'll go through the hotkeys section. So, you will need this one, the harvest ceremony, as you see. And then you will need this one. Uh, your this one is the war chief ceremony, and next is the war ceremony. So you only need these three while you are fighting with Aztec, and then uh, the others you won't need them. I mean, of of course you will need the warrior priest. Uh, but this one is during the booming phase, so after you're done with the booming phase, you won't need these two ceremonies, basically. And later, uh, in a second, I will just show you how to uh, use your community plaza in treaty uh, with Aztec, so you will have a better idea. <clears throat> okay, so as I mentioned, you need this, this, and this to have it in your hotkey so you can cycle through them uh, super fast during the game, okay? So what I suggest is to, as you see, this one is the grouping uh, hotkey. So when I played with the Warship saves, I always set my uh, community plaza on one, which is my grouping uh, what is it called? Grouping, uh, grouping hotkey. So, uh, in case if you don't know how to do that, I've already made the video, but still, I will mention it here. So, what you need to do to have this here is to uh, select the building, and then hold Control, and then press one. So when you do this, it will set your uh, community plaza on one. As you see, I, when I press one, it will select my community plaza. And it doesn't matter where I am, as you see. So when I press one, it will automatically select the community plaza. The other alternative is to uh, hold control F. But uh, if you do that, it will force you to jump to the community plaza, which, uh, to be honest, I don't suggest you to do that, because when you are in the battle, you want to be focused on the battle, not to jump on the community plaza and then click on the battle again. So instead, let's say, for example, the battle is here, you press 1, 
And when you're maxed on unit, like 200 pop on unit, you change the hotkey to uh, change the community plaza to war ceremony. If you're down in uh, units, you press F again, and then it will set to the harvest ceremony, and you will your units will be trained faster. And then after that, again, when you're maxed on unit, you press uh, W, and then uh, it will boost your unit's attack. So during the battle with the war chiefs, what you need to do is always cycle your community plaza between. Uh, I mean, for Aztec, you need to cycle between these two. And then, of course, if your war chief is dead, you select the community plaza and then uh, do your war chief ceremony dance, and your war chief will spawn from the community plaza. So, and the other thing that uh, it's really important about the war chiefs is, is the is to have your war chief near your units while they are fighting, because uh, your war chief will boost your uh, unit stat. I mean, even though Aztec war chief doesn't boost that much, so. I mean, it's just, uh, you will get extra XP, so what you can do is just to spam the shipments. But still, I mean, it's better than nothing. So always put your war chief on ground mode, and then uh, just stay at the back. So as you see, uh, the white circle, that means that your war chief is boosting your units. So make sure to do that. And... Uh, that was all about uh, Aztec and how to use the community plaza on Aztec. And now, actually, let me show you the uh, a gameplay on how to use the Aztec. Actually, uh, where is it? Where is it? Okay. All right, this is it. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> All right, so, so this is it. And also let me change the, all right. <coughs> Okay, so now we will see uh, <clears throat> a gameplay of Aztec, which is already uh, in my channel. You can watch it. <clears throat> Sorry, really? All right, so uh, what you need to do with Aztec and how to use the community plaza. So basically at age one, uh, you will build your community plaza uh, alongside with your house and your market. And then uh, once you build the community plaza, you always will have one warrior piece at the start with your Aztec. So send the warrior piece inside the community plaza and set your community plaza on XP until you hit age two. Okay. Uh, with this, uh, you will be able to get more cards uh, when you hit H2, and that is uh, what you need. And then I'm just going to just go forward until I'm aging. So I guess it's around here. <clears throat> no, actually it's here with 15 villagers. Okay, so, and actually, as you see, uh, once you're still aging, you just stay on the community plaza on XP, and then after you hit the H2, uh, you change your community plaza to the, uh, the healer ceremony, which gives you the warrior piece. Uh, right now, I'm just... 
uh, waiting for to get the card, which is uh, okay. When you get this card, uh, it will increase the train time of your uh, warrior piece uh, from the community plaza as well. So when you hit H2 with Aztec, you will get this card so you can get your uh, warrior piece faster. And then as you see, after I get that card, I set my community plaza on this and you just let it be on that until you get 10 warrior priests and don't forget to send your uh, warrior priests inside the community plaza once they're ready so i mean i don't wait uh, until we have nine of them stacked here because uh the faster you send them to the community plaza the earlier you will be done with them uh, because their train time will be reduced as you see uh Okay, and then also, okay, now, uh, okay, as you see, as soon as I send the, actually now this one is on the screen, so as you see, as soon as I send the other warrior piece inside the community plaza, the train time reduced to half, which is uh, 59, and before that, I think it was 120 seconds. Yeah, 120 seconds, and I mean, the more you send to the community plaza, the train time will be reduced, okay? And then uh, at this part, as you see, I'm maxed on the warrior piece. And then after that, you set your uh, community plaza on, the, uh, on this dance. Uh, wait. Why do I say dance? And this ceremony, uh, which gives you, which uh, enables you to train your villagers faster. And as you see, this is the normal speed. Okay. And then you notice how fast they are training now. So uh, you, you, you put the, uh, the community plaza on this one until your max villagers and then after that you put it on the xp ceremony which gives you xp per second and then uh, uh, what you want to do before the fight is to have your uh, community pause on the war ceremony because you will have in insane <clears throat> insane amount of unit uh, because you are uh, your start army is just huge. Uh, I think it's 327 or something. And I think I'm missing one of the big buttons. So anyway, so you, you hold it on the war ceremony until, uh, okay, you see until uh, this part. I think I already switched it. So yeah, I'm just going to show you. Uh, so... All right, actually, wait, why I never changed the ceremony? I mean, I, I can't find it. I mean, uh, for sure I've changed it because uh, the units are out, but since the switching is like pretty quick, like I press one and press F, and then the when you do that, uh, I mean, the train time will be increased and then your units will be spammed out. And then after that, I just press 1 and uh, press W again. I mean, you can uh, see the gameplay later in my channel and see how I'm cycling it. So make sure to, I mean, this is the key part to, uh, actually, let me show it in game. The key part is to have your community puzzle hotkey set to the grouping hotkeys. So, I mean, uh, with this you will be able to cycle much faster rather than clicking on this and then doing this. Or as an example, like do the hotkey for the community puzzle and then jump into the community puzzle and then do the, I mean, for example, war dance and then go to the battle, which is here, for example. 
So it's always good to have it on the grouping hotkey. Press one. Train time lands. Uh, sorry, train time ceremony. I'm really sorry. I'm just used to the old phrases. And then switch back. And again, switch back. I mean, uh, you press on this, select your access or buildings, train units. After that, switch back. I mean, after the train time is over or it's about to finish, uh, you switch back. Okay, actually, let me uh, show you this. So I do this. Okay, so it's two units. And then when it, this one is about to start, I switch back because it will take a few seconds for the community closer. I mean, it's like, it's like one second delay. So it will switch back to another ceremony. So that's what you do. Okay. So that was uh, about Aztec uh, and actually uh, the next saves will be shorter because I have explained the basics and the hotkeys and all those stuff. So let's move to the next. Uh, actually, we'll do Inca next. I mean, I have done a bunch of uh, Inca gameplays. So for the uh, for the booming parts and how you should use your hotkeys uh, during the blooming uh, you can just uh, I'm just waiting for this guy to shut up <laughs> okay so uh, for the blooming part you can just refer to my videos and actually I can show you it's not much of a big deal uh, same like before you press F you build your community plaza and with Inca uh, you have llamas Okay, llamas. And what you need to do is to just avoid villagers, just use llamas. Okay, and you can build uh, these. Uh, I mean, you can train llamas from your farms. And of course, you will have better stats with villagers. But since, uh, I mean, they are constantly nerfing Inca because of their insane economy. So what you do is to just use llamas and the priestess. So you can just uh, have better uh, stats. And at the same time, you will have better economy. I mean, for, uh, as you see, for Aztec, uh, you could either use uh, warrior priests and uh, the normal villagers, but with Inca you can use llamas, villagers, and the actually, and this one is the the warrior priestess. Uh, sorry, the priestess ceremony is not warrior. This one is the as you see. This one is also a healer ceremony. So when you put on this, uh, it will take some time. And these are actually, they train super slow. I don't know why, but uh, it is what it is. So they will train super slow and you have to bear with it. And you can check inside my uh, Inca gameplays. And also I will show you in a second, no worries, on how to... <clears throat> and how and when to train these. So just bear in mind, you can only have 10 of these inside the community plaza, but still you can train more of them. So make sure you don't uh, train extra of these because uh, you won't be able to use them in the battle. And usually you just need to kill them and that would give your enemy some XP, which is not good. And usually, I keep forget to switch the community plaza after uh, while I'm training these. So make sure to do that. And okay, so this one, as you see, you can only train uh, 20 llamas maximum from the uh, 
from your farms and with 20 llamas uh, your stat will be fine until you hit imperial and i mean uh, sorry until you max your villagers and then get these uh, priestress so i will show you how to use the community plaza overall but make sure to always use this llama card because you want to use the llamas not the villagers with Incra. and so what's what you should use for the combination is uh five llama uh, sorry 10 uh, pre-stress and then uh, 15 llamas and with that you will have enough stats for the fight and for the train time and everything even though again i say uh, the villagers will have will give higher stat compared to llamas but still you will need the villagers on your economy okay so uh, actually let me show you this so again same like aztec this one is the train time ceremony this one is the XP ceremony, this one is your warship ceremony, and this one is your militeman ceremony, as you see. I'm just waiting for it to come out. Yeah, it's, it's just the same. And this one is your war ceremony. Uh, this one is your uh, healer ceremony, which gives you the... Where is it? These pre-stress. Uh, so uh, that is that and the next one is called moon ceremony uh, I've seen some people using this but this is huge mistake uh, even though this one gives you like wood per second uh, but it's not really worth it because uh, I mean before the uh, what is it called before the fight start basically you just need to uh, set your community plaza on I mean firstly you have the max villagers so you put on this after that you get your uh, max priestress I mean 10 of them basically not max you need 10 priestress so you put on this and after you get 10 priestress you just put it on the XP so you can just stack your parts so your start army will be stronger so basically uh, never put on the wood ceremony uh, sorry moon ceremony which gives you a wood per second because I mean uh, okay let's see at max I think I've tried it I, at max you can get f uh, around around seven wood per second which is almost like one factory on wood and uh, it's not really worth it so just ignore this one and the next ceremony is this one which gives you the maceman uh, actually the train time is really hot uh, really long I don't know why I mean uh, I would say the the school lights are better than the maze man, but uh, I don't know why the train time is super high. Okay, so the maze man, I mean, you can, again, you can avoid this ceremony in treaty. I don't know how you can use it in sub game, but in treaty, you can just avoid it because you can just train them from the Kalankas and the train time is like much slower. Uh, I'm just going to show you. And as you see, I don't have the train time cards for the infantry but still I don't think this one is taking 75 seconds so yeah this one uh, was just another thing about uh, Inca and this big button uh, it will give uh, maceman depending on how long you're into the game so I think I at 30 minutes, after 30 minutes, you can get 10, uh, wait, seven maze one, I think. Wait, no, I don't know. I forgot. <laughs> but I think it's 
Uh, between 7 to 10, I forgot how many is it exactly. I don't want to do the maths now. So, yeah. <clears throat> and that is regarding the serum, the community plaza with Inca. Again, with Inca, you just need this one, this one, and this one. So, uh, F for train time, W for war dance to boost your unit's attack damage. And A for the uh, for your war chips. Okay, so again, actually, I forgot to do this for uh, Aztec. So just to show you, you go to the hotkeys and you scroll down to find the community plaza. This one. So what you need to change. Uh, is basically uh, so again this is pretty straightforward you just read the name from the community plaza name and then just find it here uh, whichever you want to change so this one for me again this is based on what you decide but for me A is suitable for voyage, uh, for war chief and uh the other thing that i use is the harvest ceremony i mean by default is on f and the war ceremony by default is on w so that is uh about inca actually um actually i think i have a gameplay of them as well so i can show you on how to use and when to use the Community Plaza, so, all right, let's, okay, let me show you this one. Okay, so you don't build the Community Plaza with uh, Inca until uh, you have at least 10 llamas, I would say, because that's basically useless. Some maps, they have some llamas, and you can just use them, but uh, if you don't have, <clears throat> I mean, the the stray llamas, basically. <clears throat> you can just uh, wait until you're age two because you need to max your houses and the community plaza costs 100 wood. So you just wait until you're uh, age two. And then uh, basically you just have to wait until you get uh, Oh my god. Okay, I think I will be showing the deck right now in a second. Okay, so after you get this card, I mean, if you go through my gameplay, you, you will notice. After you get this card, you will build your community plaza because after you get this, you will get one town center and one. Uh, another one town center wagon and another wagon that you can just build a farm with it and after you build the farm you can just send the llamas inside your community plaza so once you send this once you start to send this card you build the community plaza and then uh, after this card you must take the llama card so and so you can just uh, increase the stat that the llama gives you. So you will hold your community plaza on the train time ceremony until you are max villagers. And usually you will be max villagers when you are about to hit Imperial, as you see. So up to then, you just uh, hold it on the on this train time and then after you max villagers you just switch it to the pillar ceremony which gives you the uh, the what is it called the priestess so that is that uh, about inca and then now we move to the next save which is uh, Lakota. Okay, let me close this. 
Okay, so next one is Lakota. Let's just jump into it. Okay. Okay, again, uh, with Lakota, you build the community plaza. And again, this one on how to use them and when to use them properly, you can just refer to my gameplays and uh, notice them. So with Lakota, you have your community plaza. I mean, same like Aztec and Inca. You have this train time, you have this XP, you have your warship ceremony, you have this millet man, which gives you the same unit, and the war dance and the heal healer ceremony. Okay, I just want to show you the healer ceremony on Lakota, so you will notice that uh, it's not useful to have them because uh, what they do basically is just to heal units. You can't use them inside the community plaza. You can't, I mean, to be honest, I never find any use for them, but uh, I don't know, maybe it's for, it's because I play treaty and for sub game, I don't know. Sorry, I dropped the mic. So yeah, okay, so as you see, this one is the healer, and if your units are low in HP, basically they will just heal them. And as you see, I can't use them inside the community plaza, they won't uh, work on it. So, what I suggest, just ignore this for, for the sake of treaty. Next one is the siege dance. So when you do this, when you set on this, this one is unique to Lakota. As you see, it will boost your, uh, actually, okay. You see my siege, that, my siege attack is 120 now. And then after I switch it, it will be 178. I mean, they already nerfed the siege dance at the maximum ratio. So it used to be 200%, but now it's 150% extra siege damage. I'm pretty sad about it, but I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I, I can't do anything about it. And the uh, community plaza with Lakota, you will get uh, this this big bottom. It will, as you see, it will increase your watch if, uh, damage against artillery by 900%. Okay, I'm just gonna, what you want to do is always have this upgrade because it's insane. You can one shot all the art, uh, artillery. Okay, as you see, all of your damage against artillery is just uh, multiplied by 10, which is insane. So what you can do is just walk to the enemy artillery and then boop, one shot, easy. Okay, the next one is the Tokala Dance, one of my most favorite units inside the game, because of how insane are their uh, stats. Actually, their train time is pretty slow, but uh, I guess, actually I, I can just uh, show you the hotkey until this unit is spawned. So for Lakota, the hotkeys that you need is this, 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 and this uh, during the fight. So when you hit to the wall or enemy building, you switch to the siege dance, uh, sorry, siege ceremony, and then siege the building now, okay? And actually, just to show you, I mean, by default, it's on V, and for me, it's fine, but if you want to change, just go to the hotkeys and it's called charging ceremony. They've changed the name as well. Okay, so you go to the hotkeys and again, community plaza and look for the charging ceremony. Where is it? <clears throat> Wait, what? Am I lost? 
Uh, okay, V. I mean, it's supposed to be V. Fire ceremony. Wait, what? Okay, so it's fire ceremony inside the hotkey section. So it's on V, and we can change it to whatever you want. Really? It. I mean, in here it says charging ceremony, but when you go to the <clears throat> hotkey section, it says fire ceremony. I mean, this game is inflicting with themselves. Oh, and I actually changed it. Okay, never mind. I mean, overall, the Tokolos have insane stat, but uh, if you have uh, 25 villagers on the community plaza, uh, you can train them uh, with 19 seconds for each unit. So, I mean, it takes pretty long, but still, I mean, uh, it's one strategy with Lakota. And uh, these units are insane. They have high siege, high HP, a area attack. And wait, do they have area attack? I, th I think no, but they have high siege, uh, high attack, high HP. And they're just insane. But it's the risk that you are willing to take. So it's uh, either to train these units for an insane early rate. Or you just put your villagers on your economy to have better economy. But if you're willing to take the risk of these, and if you fail, you just lose the game. Because it's like 25 villagers working on the community plaza to train these units uh, instead of um, working on your economy. So that is that regarding the Lakota. And actually, I Thing I also have a gameplay. Let me see. Okay, yeah, I have. Right, so again with Lakota, you build your uh, community plaza once you hit uh, H3. Before that, you don't need the community plaza. After you hit H3, you build the community plaza and send. Uh, 10 villagers instantly to it and put it on the train time so you can max your villagers and after you max your villagers you can either set 10 of them I mean you can just leave 10 of them inside the community plaza to train I mean to gather XP for your cards or you can just put all of your villagers on economy it's just what you decide and what you prefer <clears throat> and then uh, with Lakota, uh, what you want to do is just to have your uh, community plaza near the fight. <clears throat> mm. uh, the reason for that is because your war chief is insanely strong and you always want to have it inside the battle and mess with your enemy. So it's better to, I mean, let's say for example, Orinoco, it's better to, I mean, after the fight starts, and when you have these areas secured, build your community plaza around here. So you can send your war chief through here to the fight, not from here to the fight. Okay, so that was another thing that I wanted to mention. And then, <clears throat> thing I've already mentioned during the fight, you just need to cycle through your <clears throat> sorry, train time. War dance, uh, sorry, war ceremony, war chief, and your uh, siege attack. And that is basically all about Lakota. Next one is uh, Hogan Arshani. Okay, this is the last one. <clears throat> I hope you guys are finding these information useful. Okay, so with Eero, uh, sorry, what do I show you? Uh, you will have your community plaza as well. And again, just like Lakota, you can't use uh, any special units. You just have to use villagers on it. And uh, the, 
the things that you will get from sorry from what you're not showing is uh, again you have the train times uh, ceremony uh, next one is this one uh, it will give you uh, building uh, the builder Travis so it, it's, it's just this one okay you will get the same unit as this so you can have a free costing building basically with this <clears throat> and it's uh, basically pretty insane and also another thing then you, you need to keep in mind you can only have 10 of these at the same time so let's say if you want to build with them uh, make sure to uh, keep uh, build with them because uh, once they reach to 10 uh, basically they won't train from the community plaza anymore so with these you can uh, as you see you can build all the buildings uh, with them it doesn't matter which building so what i usually do is have i mean i set my base with this because and uh, just avoid the wood cost for my building and then uh, after that uh, after i just set up my base i still train 10 of these and then use it during the battle because they will just build like super fast as you see uh, I mean, so you don't need to set villagers to build them and you can have like 10 of them and then you will spam the buildings inside the battle uh, at the same time. So the next one is the XP ceremony, same like the other says. The next one is the warship ceremony. This, the function is the same, it will boost your warship uh, HP and if it is dead, it will spawn it from the community plaza. And the next one is the millet man. Basically, as you see, the, it's the same. The unit is the same as well. The next one is the war ceremony. Same like the other ceremonies. I mean, other warship ceremonies. It will boost your unit's attack damage. Uh, this one is the healer ceremony. Again, this one is just like uh, Lakota's. It doesn't uh, do anything special. It's just the healer. So you won't get uh, anything special from it. As you see, I can set it to the community puzzle. So it's just there to heal your units. And I don't think it's worth it. So just avoid it. And this is the, so basically what's special about uh, ordination is uh, community plaza is these two ceremonies. One is that, uh, one is this one, which gives you this building uh, travels. And the other one is this insane OP ceremony. As you see, when you set it on this, uh, actually, if you have uh, maximum 25 villagers, I mean, with basically with each villager, it will increase your max population limit by one. So if you have 25 of them, and your if your population is max, like 200 pop, and if you have 25 villagers on the community plaza, and you put it on this ceremony, you can have 225 population. So the cycle with Todernation is a bit complex because you, you just need to keep cycle between uh, the train time. I mean, once you're ready to fight, I mean, once your units are, are ready to train and then this one, which is uh, your population ceremony, I call it. So what you need to do is, I mean, let's say, for example, now, uh, actually, it's 110, right? Yeah. Actually, wait. Let me do this. I just want to show you the max uh, population. 
and actually I don't have villagers now. I mean, by right, you can have uh, 200, uh, sorry, in terms of villagers with Hodor uh, Nashwani, you can have uh, 119 villagers with the H5 uh, overpop. And then how many is it? 20 and I need five more. Okay, so I mean, right now, my population is it seems quite big but uh, if you have uh, your 119 villagers your population your start population is 119 and then uh, you just train i mean you set your community puzzle on this one which i will show you in a second so you will have extra population for the fight okay and one more and we are done and this one uh, is uh, the big upgrade of the Modern Ashonis community puzzle. It will give your war chief a healing ability. I mean, when you hit it, you just wait uh, until the upgrade is done. And you will have this one. Okay. So let's say, I mean, for example, this one. You do the healing. Wait, why it doesn't heal? Oh wait, actually it doesn't heal the the melee man. So if if any of your units are low in HP, you just use this ability and it will heal them uh, by a bit. Okay, now let me show you the community puzzle. So as you see, my pop my max population is two hundred and twenty five, which is more than any of the saves. I mean, China has two hundred twenty pop, uh, but uh, with uh, Hodenashani, the population is two hundred and twenty-five. So you you set it on this and you train your units. I mean, I mean at, at the moment, I'm just it's just so ma so much unit to train. But uh, by right, you just let it be on this ceremony until your this number is 225 or 224 or a number close to that after that you just switch to the train time with because with this strategy you can just train more units than usual okay and then uh, of course after your units train time is done i mean let's assume we are done with the train time. You just put it on war dance, uh, sorry, war ceremony. And then again, when your population drop, put it back on this, train the units. And then after you are on uh, around 225 pop, again, put it back to the train time. Okay. so. With uh, Hodenashani, you just need to cycle a lot because uh, you just need to constantly put on the overpop, train time, overpop, train time, and if your units are managing, if you manage to hold your 220 pop units, you just put it on war ceremony, so you will have more damage to the fight. And in case, uh, actually, I forgot to mention about uh, Inca and uh, Lakota. Uh, the War Chief of uh, Hodenashani, it will boost your unit's HP, as you see. Uh, regarding uh, Lakota, it will increase, I mean, depending on which cards you take, but if you take all of the cards, it will boost your unit siege, uh, unit siege damage and also your unit's attack. And with uh, Inca, it will boost your uh, native unit uh, HP. I think it's only HP. I'm not sure if it's attack as well. So, yeah. And um, I think... That is all about it. And also, uh, let me tell you the hotkeys that you need. Again, you need this, you need this, you need this, and you need this. And this one, I think by default, is on P. So it's called Mother 
uh, Earth Mother Ceremony. Okay, so again, uh, you go to the hotkeys. And where is it? Where is it? Community Plaza. Okay, so Mother Earth Mother Ceremony by default is on P, but I put it on D because it's more suitable for me. So you better change it to whatever you prefer. Okay, so and also let me show you the gameplay with them and how to use the community plaza during the booming and after the fight. This will be a quick one. Again, all of these gameplays will be inside my channel. Uh, you can, uh, I mean, if you look for Lakota, you can search for Lakota. You can, if you look for Inca, you can search for Inca and so on. So again, uh, with Haudenosaunee, uh, same like Lakota, you don't need to build your community plaza at first. You only build your community plaza after you hit H3. And uh, basically, after you hit H3, you build the community plaza, send villagers to it until you get max village, uh, I mean, max 25 of them. So your train time for villagers will be increased, so you can max your villagers faster. And then after you're done with the villagers, you hold uh, around, you can put uh, between 11 to 13, but I would suggest 13. Uh, you hold it on the community plaza. And basically, you just put it on this ceremony, which gives you this building travel. And then build, uh, build your base, build your uh, first base, I mean, your war hut your uh, artillery foundry, your stable, and whatever you need. And also, after you're done with all those stuff, uh, train 10 of these, okay? 10 of these, uh, 10 of these building travels, and just hold it for the battle. So when the battle starts, you just uh, spam the building. Okay, actually, I think, this one I can show you. And actually, uh, since we are here now, uh, after you're done with the base and all this stuff, you can either just clear your community plaza completely and put all of your villagers on resources, or uh, just uh, leave 10 villagers on the community plaza and put it on the XP ceremony so you can max all of your cards before the battle. I mean, it, you literally can get all of your cards before the fight. But that is up to you if you want to go for a better score or you, want, you prefer better army. That is totally up to you. Okay, so... Okay, actually I wanted to show you how you can use it inside the fight. Actually, there was a pause here. Alright, so as you see, I have 10 of these ready this is my starting top all right uh as you see uh actually where did i use as you see i'm just using this spam the buildings spam the buildings everywhere okay and as you see uh, since i see uh, the space is open i'm just using these to build the base uh, forward like around here because I don't need villagers for them, right? They will just build uh, automatically. So that was all about it, guys. Uh, about the community plaza. It was a long video for sure, but uh, you just uh, look for whatever you are looking for. Uh, it's either if, if you look for Aztec, if you plan to use Aztec, uh, you can just use Lakota if you plan to use Lakota. But as I've mentioned, the function of the community plaza is the same in either treaty or sub game. It's just a matter of how you use it. And I mean, I mean, basically in sub game, you might not be able to send 25 villagers inside the community plaza. It's just depending on the game situation. But in terms of the function and the 
passive and the boost that the community plaza gives is the same. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you find it useful. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the content and find it useful. And stay tuned for the future guides. And if you look for any specific gameplay, you can just look inside my channel. I have gameplay literally for every save. And yeah, that is all. So see you all until the next uh, video.